All right, guys, so that was chapter 13, and we met Colin. And Colin is Mr. Craven's son. So, remember we talked about a little bit who we thought was crying. And we thought it might be somebody's kid. Uh, it didn't sound like it, you know, they said it was like a maid's kid, but we didn't believe that. So, we kind of thought maybe it was Mr. Craven's kid, but um, we, we weren't sure. So, now we found out for sure. And his name's Colin. He's 10. So, he died. Uh, he died. He was born right around the time his mom died. So, it, it doesn't sound like she died in childbirth, um, because they said she died in the garden. So, um, who knows? I mean, she might have fallen and then given birth, or maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll find out. And, um, so at first, so, um, Mary wakes up, and she wakes up mad. Have you ever woken up mad, and you can't go back to sleep? Yeah. I have to. And so she hears the crying again and she's like, I'm going to go figure out who this is because no one's awake yet. It's probably four o'clock in the morning or something. And it's still dark. <clears throat> and so, and the reason she was mad is because it was raining and she knew she couldn't get out to the garden today, that day. And so she goes down, she finds the tapestry where she was before when she heard the cry crying and she goes into the room and she sees a little boy. And, um, he, he, she said he's, um, he looks very thin. He has really big eyes with really dark lashes all the way around and floppy hair. And, um, so she, when he sees her, he thinks she's a ghost. And when she says, sees him, she thinks maybe he's a ghost, but they figure out, nope. And she, and, um, he asks her who she is and she says she's Mary Lennox. And she is uh, Mr. Craven's niece. And he says, well, I'm Colin Craven. I'm Mr. Craven's son. And she just can't believe it. She can't believe they've been keeping the secret. So there's so many secrets in this place. And so um, he's very interested that there's another kid there. And uh, he doesn't seem that surprised that he he didn't know. Because um, once again, he does, he has been kept in his room, it sounds like. He, and he, they want him to go outside. They think that would be good for him because he also has something wrong with his back and he's sickly and he's in pain and that's why he's crying. And, um, he, but he doesn't want to go outside. And, and, you know, of course he's very sad because, and he's mad at his mom for dying because if he knows things would have been different if she had lived. Obviously he's mad at his dad for not being around and not care, you know, acting like he doesn't care about him. And so, you know, he's, he's angry, he's sick, he is um, crippled, he has to get around in a wheelchair, so he's, he, I, you know, he's in a mess. But, you know, there's tons of people who have a disability of some sort, and they are great because people care about them. And so hopefully, now that Mary has met him, um, you know, she, I, obviously she cares about him, and obviously she wants, you know, she's trying to keep the garden a secret, but she starts rambling on about, well, maybe we can figure it out, and then it can be a, our secret, and I can take you out, or one of the boys can take you out, or blah, you know, it gets all excited, and, um, so he goes along with that, because he, I mean, he thinks that would be, I mean, what kid doesn't think that would be fun to get into the secret garden, so at first he thinks, well, I'll just tell him I want to go to the secret garden, because he's just used to getting his way, because, you know, the servants do whatever he asks, because they want him, you know, since he's in charge, I mean, he's the owner's son, so, um, but, um, she, she tries to convince him that they should keep this secret, and I think, you know, by the time it ends, she does. So, um, so, she, um, she, and then she also finds out that Martha knew about him and didn't tell her, which, once again, she couldn't tell her because, you know, that's not what you do. I'm sure they were told, do not tell Mary about Colin or vice versa. You know what vice versa means? Or tell Mary, don't tell Mary about Colin. Don't tell Colin about Mary. That's vice versa. Um, and so she, um, she can't tell her, but I'm sure Mary's going to tell Martha she found out. So we'll see how Martha reacts to that in the next one. So we met a new character, Colin. Very, very interesting. We'll find out what happens next time. So keep tuning in. All right.